right, guys, we are back for another Dilcom Battle video. So I want to jump in and let's show why Piccolo Jr. is the god of world tournaments. Um, I'll just get this out of the way. Piccolo Jr., I think, is, like, he's so far the best world tournament unit, right? Like, I, I think Piccolo Jr. is the best world tournament unit we have ever seen. Like, I, I don't think that there's any comparison to, like, anything ever that we've seen in here with Piccolo Jr., now, um, I've found a lot of effectiveness just running him on, like, a physical Ginyu team or something like that. So what I wanted to kind of do here, uh, there's a lot of new AoE characters that we're, we're going to do videos on, right? Boo and in LR Goku. I've tested a couple of them out. Piccolo Jr. is number one by far, because the second Piccolo Jr. shows up, the, like, it's over, right? Uh, not only his active skill, my Piccolo Jr. has killed everything every single time. I I've not had my Piccolo Jr. fail to kill the enemy with his active skill yet. Uh, the friend ones have, though. Against, like, in the finals, against, like, uh, the physical LR Ginyu or, like, these Gohans, right? Uh, units like that um, have been able to actually prevent my, uh, well, the friend, excuse me, the friend Piccolo Jr. from killing, right? So that's definitely something to keep in mind. Uh, we'll just, we got Bulma Chan right here. Uh, Bulma is going to be a very solid world tournament character we could bring because she's going to be supporting. What I want to do is I don't want to do any more than two non-AoE characters on the team, right? I I think Int LR Goku is probably going to be a go-to for us. Uh, you know, after, like, I, I think I would use him on this team. That in LR Goku, I mean, he's... Yeah, I get it. Like, I agree with people that he's not good enough and stuff like that. But, like, here, like, he he auto-supers and he's hitting harder than, like, any um, unit. All right, so here's why Piccolo Jr. is number one, right? So, the turn starts, we just active skill, and then the whole rotation is dead. Now, let's say Piccolo Jr. does not kill uh, the enemies here. Notice he's attack-breaking them. Uh, Piccolo Jr. will attack-break each enemy one time that, he's, that he does the active skill on. In World Tournament... The enemies only attack once per turn, and not even all seven enemies attack, right? It's the first turn, only the first three, then the second turn, it's the next three, and, and it kind of goes on like that, right? So, Piccolo Jr. gets that active off, and boom, it's over. Like, like you, you, you've you done what you needed to. We got, un of course, unbelievably god-awful rotations here. Of course, of course. Let, let, let's start out, because it's like... We could get on a rhythm where we'll just get Piccolo Juniors, and and we're gonna be looking good. Yeah, I, I can't complain enough about how bad this our rotations were right here. Um, I mean, th things would probably go a little bit better again if I had the in LR Goku, because like in LR Goku, he's not gonna struggle for key. He he's basically auto supering and he's auto killing. I, I have not had him fail to kill. It, it, the same. I guess one thing with him, the same issue would be physical characters. So we'll, we'll we'll talk about him. We'll, we'll get to him with his own video. But Piccolo Jr., right, not only is 99% of the time, in my experience, he's just sweeping the enemy field, but he's doing it before the enemy can attack. So what's happening is we are not getting attacked at all. Uh, we're, we're, we just we don't have to use items. The thing is, is perhaps, you know, like people, people will look at LR STR Bully as like the best character ever, right, for World Tournament and stuff like that. But the thing about him is, is like, you know, you'd still pop a Ghost Usher, and then he'd sweep the enemy field. And you do have to worry about Key, and Key is not, you know, super free for him and all that stuff. Uh, I could have Bulma get orbs first, but I don't think we would even really need to. I noticed LR Krillin right there. Are we going to have any difficulties here? Um, LR Bulma, of course, again, is, is very good. Yeah. At my Piccolo Jr., by the way, is built very offensive. Not only is he built offensive with, like, additionals and crits and stuff like that, but I gave him a, uh, the equips that have the additional attack on them, which I think could be one reason why I have not had any issues whatsoever um, with Piccolo Jr. just sweeping the field. So, like, that's what it is. Like, it, the speed at which Piccolo Jr. does this, it, it, it's just going to be so crazy because not only is he sweeping the field in seconds, but you're not having to worry about playing around with items so much. Now, I could run... We could run Piccolo Jr. as a leader unit, right? And remember, Piccolo Jr. as a leader, um, he is going to... Uh, that thing. What is it called? Uh, Piccolo Jr. as a leader is going to give himself his 200%. Remember, you're only getting one leader skill in here no matter what anyway. 
but I, I've I've found it to be very effective just doing it like this. Yeah, dude. I people have no idea about in LR Goku, man. He's so disrespected. It's sad. I, like I get it, but like, bro, like I, these other like AOEs, like Nappa and Vegeta, like they're at like a one million right there, and like um. STR Broly is like one in two millions. Goku in LR Goku is shooting out nine million attack stats, man. Like he he auto just kills the entire field. I, I don't even think that uh, a physical enemy would not die to Goku. I, I don't know. I, I'd, I'd have to test it out a little bit more. You know, we'll, I'll be able to make a better assessment on him at the end of the world tournament, right? But like this is it. We just go through a pick. We get Piccolo Junior rotation. The fight's over. Because again, let's say, is there a strong physical enemy here? No. So, it's just GG. Nope. The answer is no. There's not a strong physical enemy. We're just looking out for strong physical enemies. Now, if there was... If you're just running even a confident team... Piccolo Jr. is still going to do most of the HP of whatever enemy you're talking about. So, he will super or any other character on rotation will super and you'll finish it off. Now, uh, I think easy SDR Piccolo is definitely still a, a really good World Tournament unit. I, I feel like he's probably number two, but... I don't, like, it, I do think it's an either-or. You don't need to run Piccolo Jr. and Easy SCR Piccolo together uh, because, you know, you do want to run LRs for max points. But the thing is, is that Easy SCR Piccolo and Piccolo Jr., I, they're just so much better, I think, than everything. Although, in LR, Goku really might be the second best. And I, I do need to test out Super Buu as well. I've not yet used him. Those are the two. I, I, my gut is leaning towards... Easy a STR Piccolo is the number two world tournament unit, but it, it really could be Goku. He, he actually might be. Um, but you don't want to overload uh, with what you call it um, TUR characters. You want to get as many LRs as possible, right? So it's like because I'm using Piccolo Junior, that's going to be my TUR. So I'm not going to use Physical Dragon Ball Super Broly, who would be great. You know, he'll he'll, he'll do good. He'll be great. Uh, Easy SR Piccolo will do great. I'm sticking to LR AOE characters and LR support characters, right? I don't want to go more than two non-AOEs. So that way, because if, if we have three, like, say, LR support type characters, that means we could get a rotation where we don't have an AOE at all, right? Like, if we get really bad uh, RNG, like, you know, rotation RNG, which will happen throughout the course of, a, you know, a world tournament weekend. You're going to have that happen, but... I mean, this is just, this is it, right? Like, th this this is the best peak by a world tournament unit we have ever seen. I I, I think that th this is it. Th this Piccolo, it, it's just, he's too good. Like, it's awesome. And it's like, you know, he, dude, like, you, you would go through, like, a thousand Ghost Ushers or something sometimes during a world tournament. And, like, now, like, you know, the only way we have to use a defensive item is if Piccolo Jr. is not on rotation. Like, I, it's just, it's just crazy. Like, this, Piccolo Jr. is so good. And this is why it's like, like, they've dropped Piccolo Jr. World Tournament God W. But, like, you know, do we really need Super Boo and, and LR Goku and Carnival LR can go on? Do we really need all these other guys, too? Like, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, Piccolo Jr. gets the job done here. Like, I guess Super Boo is still good for, like, you know, some of those teams that Piccolo is not on. But, yeah, wow. I, look, you guys are seeing this, right? Like, Piccolo Jr. just... The, the way this goes, like, we we're just, we just jump in, we sweep. We jump in, we sweep. You know, there's no items being used. This is why, like, no other character is comparable ever. Because every other character, you know, easy STR Piccolo sweeps the enemy field 100% of the time. But you still have to use an item, typically. Or if you're bringing Jacko and Chiaotzu, you're limiting your points. Although that, that is still that, that is still a great strategy, by the way. Jacko and Chiaotzu. Uh, because they, they show up on rotation, it's, it's basically a ghost usher, right? But it's like Jacko and Chelsu. The thing is, is that T like Piccolo Jr., he's essentially well, I mean, I was gonna say an LR Broly super attack, but LR Broly does he's he's a what he has a one million attack stat, dude. He's a one million attack stat. Like I, like Piccolo Jr.'s doing way more than a one million attack stat on that active skill, man. So it's like, you know, he's like, I don't know, two LR Broly supers put together, plus a ghost usher with his active skill. And you do it before the turn even starts. So, it, it's, again, nothing is ever comparable. LR SDR Broly is, w at his peak, was not half as good as Piccolo Jr. Easy SDR Piccolo at his peak was not half as good as Piccolo Jr. Like, like this this is it. 
The only way this could be better would be if Piccolo Jr. was uh, guaranteed critting or something like that. Or if Piccolo Jr. was critting or super effective against all types. That's the only... Because Piccolo Jr. is super effective against all types. But he only does that um, when there's one enemy, right? He's not doing that, you know, here. Uh, dude, are you kidding me? Come on, please. Oh my god, dude. I, th I wish... I could ever just play the fucking game and have just, like, even average luck. Are you kidding me? Come on. Damn it. It's driving me nuts, man. I just want to come in. I want to destroy Piccolo Jr. And I want to get back to my grind. Get out of here with the orb shenanigans. Double chi -Li and And that... Annoying as hell, man. Uh, so I don't know what my final team build is going to look like. Again, I, I do need to do some testing for Super Boo. I think there's a very good chance I might end up with Piccolo Jr., um, LR Int Goku, and LR Super Boo all on the same team. Uh, I think there's a good chance. I, I, I'm, I'm just not super sure how good um, Piccolo Jr.'s or uh, Super Boo's key is going to be, because I've not used him yet, right? Like, in LR Goku, I see, like, oh, you know, the turn starts, he's getting his 18 key, right? Like, that matters a lot. And I, I just see a lot of these teams, man. I don't like this team. See, like, like look at this. This is exactly what you don't want to do. I mean, yeah, this is uh, this is good for us fighting. And, by the way, no Piccolo Jr. again. Of course, I can never have good luck ever. And, and not me. No, 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 no. I, I'm not... I want to get a couple more rotations of Piccolo Jr. Nothing! Come on, man. God. What is going on? Oh, th th this is this is the, the, the difficulty of, all right, I want to do all these specific unit showcases, right? And, and it's like, so I'm using, like, the older World Tournament units. So it's, uh, ah! I'm going to bite my fist. That was two back-to-back -back annoying ass turns from Majin Vegeta. Um, LR Physical Cell, I'm not a big fan. Uh, the thing is with a lot of the, the older AoEs, right? LR SCR Broly, LR Physical Cell, they have the same issue, which is they need to be hitting their 12 key, right? Which I, when grinding World Tournament, I, I don't want to be counting orbs. I hate that shit. It, it slows you down mentally so much when doing this hell, right? I cannot stand that. So it's like, I really would like to avoid, you know, characters like LR SCR Broly, Ejo Majin Vegeta, um, Physical Cell, Nappa and Vegeta. You know, those are ones I really do want to cycle off the team, but they're still LR AoE characters, which means, you know, they're LR, so they're going to get us max points. Um, and then, of course, they're AoEs, so, you know, they will sweep the enemy field. Typically, you're only going to not sweep the enemy field in the last two rounds, but usually it's only the, the last round is, is where you're going to have difficulties. Uh, but yeah, th this is what Piccolo Jr. does, man. We hop in, he sweeps everything. Just, boop, instantly dead. I love it. I love it. I love it. We're, like, we're, we're barely using Ghost Ushers. It's just awesome. I mean, you know, th this is what I would consider a huge Dokkan W with Piccolo Jr. He has been a huge asset, I think, in here. So, uh, let me know what you guys think of Piccolo Jr. in World Tournament. But this is it, man. Even if an enemy would survive, they would be attack break. And then we would just kill them. Like, it's like one enemy might live with a sliver of health, but we essentially ghost usher it as well. So you can't do anything. So it's like you could... That, that, that's why there's just such a gap between SDR Piccolo and this guy. Is that SDR Piccolo is guaranteed to kill the entire enemy field 100% of the time. I have, in multiple world tournaments, never had him fail to kill an enemy. It doesn't happen, right? But you would still potentially have to use a ghost usher before he even attacks. Right? Whereas with Piccolo Jr., if he's on rotation, you don't have to use items at all, right? He, he's on rotation, it's an itemless run, which is just, it's just crazy. Piccolo Jr. is that guy. He is that guy. 